What's up everyone, Justin Parnell back again, and we got something a little bit special today because I'm going to be opening a box of draft boosters, but that's not all. I'm going to be opening a box of draft boosters and then building a commander deck out of it. Myself and three of my other friends, Beth, Ashley, and Dark Packer, all going to be opening a Wilds of Eldraine draft booster box and building a commander deck between 60 and 100 cards out of it. So we're going to do that process right here, right now, and then you're going to see the fruits of our labor as we jump into the game with the deck that we made. All right, so right here, I have my draft booster box, and we're going to pop it open. I need something sharp to get this open. We're going to pop this open, and then we are going to open all 36 of these packs and build a commander deck. Now, I'm going to try to show the rares for all of these, but that's about it. Because, of course, there's 36 packs, but we want to find our commander is the first thing we want to do. We want to find our commander, and uh, then we're kind of just going to go from there. This is going to be a little loosey-goosey, but you know what? You're, you're going to be fine. You'll be along for the ride. All right, here we go. Got to get all these packs out. There's a lot of packs. Going to put that over there. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. We are going... That was a really good throw. I wish you guys could have seen that. I went not zoomed out enough. So, we're going to open each of these packs, you know, as such. And then we're going to open... Uh, we're going to go right to the rare, all right? Which is a... Charming Scoundrel and a Goblin Bombardment. And essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to sort everything by rarity. And the reason for that is, well, we're going to, we want to find our commander. We're going to put, uh, like a, like a madman, I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to put the rares in a pile. I'm going to put the commons and uncommons in a pile. And then I'm going to put this other stuff where you, you can't really see it, so... All right, so let's see. Boom, G Sir Ginger. Okay, so this is a potential command. Let's be real, this is not a potential commander because uh, we're definitely not gonna be playing a, uh, we're not gonna be playing a colorless commander for our commander. Like again, let's, let's, be, let's be real, real here. We're gonna need some, we're gonna need some colors. Okay. Okay, a little Huntsman Redemption action. All right, that's, again, not a uh, not a commander here. All right. Lands go over there. We want a nice two-color legendary creature. Okay, Farsight Ritual. All right, I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing. All right, rest of these commons, uncommons, they're going to go here. Now, I know that there are some commons and uncommons... Ooh, that's a nice one. Virtue of Courage. I mean, that's not our commander, but I mean, that's a that is a a banger for us to play in our deck. There's some commons and uncommons like Obria and and really there's there's a lot. I think there's at least 10. There might be more than that. Um but we want to try to see if we can get some power here. Got a little nice ooh, a little what is this an anime karmic justice? That is a sweet one. Man, that's so sweet. Bramble familiar. Okay. Knight of Sweet Revenge. That's a really good card. Not what we want here. So, so far, we've opened Nary a Legendary Creature. Compulsion, love it. Regal Bunnicorn, excellent. Not a commander, though. I do love a compulsion. Let me move these down a little bit more. All right. Survey says Raid Bombardment. Ooh, here we go. Agatha of the Vile Cauldron. This is a very good potential commander, okay? Activate abilities of creatures you control cost X less, where X is Agatha's power. And, uh, of course, she can, uh, for six, pump your other creatures, give them plus one, plus one. Now, is that the most powerful thing we can be playing? So far, perhaps. Okay. Now, we have a Talion's Messenger. All right. And an oversold cemetery. I do like an oversold cemetery. And the reason we're we're separating them primarily by rarity, as I bang my mic, is because little stab wound action. Spiteful hex mage. Uh, 
uh, is because, well, that's where our most powerful cards are going to be, is, is that rare. As, as we all know, I mean, let's just be real. doesn't mean that there can't be some good commons and uncommons, and that's certainly going to be the case. Scalding Viper, Force Fruition. Now, that's an interesting, interesting one in Limited. Force Fruition, make everybody draw. All right. Elusive Otter. Man, that's just an excellent... Look at this Elusive Otter. Look at it. I can't, even, I can't even get it not blurry. It's so elusive. All right, there it is. All right. You know what I'd like to open? A Bitter Blossom. We got a, a horn, Horned Lock Whale. Curiosity Dark Tutelage. Excellent. We might have to start pulling out our uh, our uncommon commanders here. Ooh, Beseech the Mirror. Oh, that's, a, that's a good one. That's definitely a good one. All right, you know what? We're going to we're gonna make sure... I don't have any other legendary creatures. And these rares? Other than Sir Ginger, we can't play Sir Ginger as our commander. We will just... Not going to happen. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to just go through... And I'm going to just start pull... To, to pull out all of the possible commanders that we could have. All of the legendary creatures that we open. Because we're going to have to pick one of those to be our commander. And I was a little arrogant, about 12 packs deep, or we're, we're a third in. I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll get plenty of legendary creatures. There's legendary, it's 2023, year of our lord. There's plenty of legendary creatures. They're all over the place, right? Well, looks like not as, not as much... As we may have hoped, we might be we might be rolling with an uncommon, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Plenty of great, great uncommon legends, and honestly, several of them in this set. Okay. The good news is we haven't repeated any of our uncommon legends. Okay, so we got a lot of options. I think they're all gold as well. Look, look, we haven't repeated a single one. Okay, go us. Okay. All right, so this increased our number by five. Five different options. That's going to go in the Agatha pile. That's our legendary pile. All right, here we go. Pack number 13. All right, we'll start with the uncommons. Make sure there's no legends here. There's not... Oh, baby, there's a Grave Pact. One of my favorite Magic the Gathering cards of all time. And another rare... Wear Fox Bodyguard, but that's obviously, that's the, that's not the, uh, that's not the real, the real what's good in here. Um, look at this Grave Pact. Man, two insane, two, two, uh, we got an extra, we got, how many rares we get? We got three rares in that pack? We are balling out of control with that pack. Uh, two excellent, uh, three excellent Grave Pact arts, actually, in back-to-back -back sets. Now, that one's great. It can't beat Kev Walker. No, nothing ever will, but, uh, you know. Still happy to have it. Okay. Obria. We already have an Obria in there. And then we have a Questing Druid, which is a really good card. Oh, Oppression. Man, we are... I. This is going to shock you all, but I think we're going to try to play black. <laughs> based on based on what we've opened so far. Oppression, Grave Pact. Give me like... Oh my god, what if we open... Oh, we can't play Ashiok as a commander. Back for seconds. Lord Skitter's Blessing. Okay. Oh, Lord Skitter, though. Lord Skitter would be uh, would be not bad. I might, I I'd try to mess with Mono Black, you know. I ain't too. Uh, I'm not too not too scared to try to do that. Maybe which is which is Vanity. Shield pollen shield hair, raid bombardment. Okay. Uncommons commons. All right. We have Sir Armand the Redeemer, Twinning Twins, and I think we already have Sir Armand here. We do. Okay. So we're still stuck at six options. Still stuck at six options here. One Mythic Rare Ag Agatha of the Vile Cauldron, and five Uncommons. Now surely there's more. Okay. Virtue of Strength and a Mana Flare. Oh, what a pack. 
That's a great pack too. Okay, those go into the pile, into the good pile. All right. Troyan, we already have his face. Red Cap Gutter Dweller makes some rats and a curiosity. The art for these Enchanting Tales cards are pretty spectacular, in my opinion. Okay, Tough Cookie, Ego Drain, Hearth Elemental, the Iron Crag, and a Rip. Rest in peace. Okay. Iron Crag is good because that's that's some uh, that's a little bit of mana ramp, you know what I mean? Not gonna get a lot of it. We're gonna get a little bit though. All right, pack again. An <laughs> I mean, I think this card is good, so I'm not like upset at opening Agatha, but in the context of what we're doing right now, a little hilarious, a little hilarious. Two Agathas, huh? Okay. Word. All right. All right, Ash. We already have Ash. Tale for the Ages. And Polluted Bonds, another really good black enchantment. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to try to play black. Who do we have that's even black in here? Oh, we have one black commander. We have Obria, whenever a uh, fairy. Okay. I mean... Our commander might not have to be the, uh, might not have to be what we're looking for. Tempest hair. More elusive otters. Impact trimmers. I mean, they are adorable. Yeah. W with the stuff we opened, it looks like we're playing black. Monstrous rage. R speaking of rage, raging battle mouse. Season of growth. Man, we're playing a lot of basics. We might be we might be rolling up with like 36 swamps. Okay. High Fae Negotiator. Another mouse. Gumdrop Poisoner. That's a good card, actually. Uh, hatchling plans. We are we might be we might be in the lurch here with the amount of uh, legends that we have to choose from. Let me tell you, it's not a lot. Heart Flame Duelist. A Foil Compulsion, which I'm very happy to open. I was going to have to buy one of those if I didn't open it, but here we are. Love Compulsion, one of my favorite magic cards. You know what? Let's... You take a look at that. Take a look at this beauty. Look at this right here. Compulsion. Now, most of y'all probably don't know about this card because it's not very not a very heralded card. Uh, it was a major player in Standard about... 20 years ago. And I've loved it ever since. Okay. Which is Vanity. Gruff Triplets and Blind Obedience. Excellent. Good cards. Is it what we want? All right, we have seven packs left. I would love a big, nasty, mythic, rare legend. Okay, Sir Armand, we got that. Three blind mice, another compulsion. Okay. Six left. Okay. No more. Okay, Song of the Torrents. Stab Wound. Specter of Mortality is another rare. Nice, of course, another <laughs> really powerful black card. Yeah, we're definitely playing black. We we got the we got the juice in, in black. Uh, I think black red would be what I would want. So like Rowan, you know, all I gotta do is just open one of the best uh, rares. Okay, Emodan, Pyro Pyrohammer, which of course would be great. Okay, we got four packs to open a Rowan. That's no big deal, right? Just do it. All we gotta do is just do it. All right. Ego Drain, Sleep Cursed Fay, or we can open the black, the black red uncommon commander. Okay, that's really what we want. We got three packs left. Those the two, and then this one. Okay, Gingerbread Hunter, Graceful Takedown, Restless Bivouac. Man, that is 
Amazing looking. Lay out of anticipation. Okay. Not crazy helpful here. But you know what? It's all good. Our deck's going to be great no matter what. Hearth Elemental. Picnic Ruiner. Lookout Tangle Face. Lich's Knight's Conquest. Sacrifice any number. Uh, this card is nuts too. Uh, sacrifice any number of artifacts, enchantments, or tokens. Return that many creatures from your graveyard to the battlefield. So, not unhappy to get that. But we got one more pack. <coughs> and what we want is a black, red legend. I know there's no commons. Okay, uncommon one. Uncommon two. Uncommon three. <laughs> Agatha Soul Cauldron. Okay, Agatha, I get it. Oh, baby, we hit on the doubling season. Mm. All right, well, we got Agatha Soul Cauldron and doubling season as the last two cards. Will that be enough to sway me away from black? It's clear that Agatha wants to be my commander. She's given me all the signs. Will I ignore her heatings? Let's find out. I'm going to build the deck off camera, and then we'll come back and break down exactly what I was tempted the most by. All right, so we've built the deck. It's a 100-card deck. Why? Is it better to be 60 if we can play 60? Yeah, of course, because we just play our best cards. But there's the thing about Commander. Sometimes you just want to play more cards, and this gives me the opportunity to like not cut anything. So this is a 100-card version of this deck. And this is what we're going to be playing. And there's a couple of cool things that we have going on with this deck. One is we have a lot of sacrificing of enchantments, pr primarily via bargain. So whenever we do that, our good friend Warehouse Tabby right here, whenever enchantment you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, make a little rat. Adorable. Thanks, Warehouse Tabby. We're going to use that a lot. Wicked Visitor is going to make everybody lose a life whenever uh, an enchantment is put into a graveyard. Thanks, where, thanks, Wicked Visitor. Did I say Warehouse Visitor? Wicked Visitor, Warehouse Tabby. And then I just want to show off Hatchling Plants as a really great enchantment to put into a graveyard, and then you get to Ancestral Recall. It's like a double bonus. Okay, speaking of bargaining, we're obviously going to be doing a bit of bargaining. We're going to be doing a lot of bargaining. Uh, so we have a nice little loop with Tenacious Tome Seeker. Whenever we bargain it and enters the battlefield, we're going to turn an instant or sorcery from our graveyard to our hand. Well, that's really nice, and it only costs three. Pretty cheap for that effect. Well, we happen to also have back for seconds, which returns up to two target creatures from our graveyard to our hand. If it was bargained, we could put one of those onto the battlefield. Well, you see where this is going. If we have enough things to bargain, we can just loop these over and over and over and keep getting it back and keep getting more creatures. But if that's not enough, we have another little card advantage engine. Because we opened Oversold Cemetery, a classic from uh, Onslaught. Whenever you have four more uh, creatures in your graveyard at the beginning of your upkeep, you can turn one to your hand. So if that ever gets broken, we have Oversold Cemetery. And then we have Lord Skitter's Blessing and Dark Tutelage to draw additional cards. Obviously, uh, you know, it's going to cost us a little bit of life, but they give you 40. You don't need it all. And then, of course, our Coup de Gras. We have Grave Pact. Uh, which we're going to try to make as many little rats as we can to make everybody have to sacrifice them. And then, of course, if we have trouble drawing Grave Pact, uh, we can simply just beseech the mirror and just go snap it out of our deck out on the battlefield, which is what we're going to be planning to do. So, is this 100-card monstrosity going to work? I don't know. Let's find out right now. Awesome. Well, I'm going to draw my card, and I actually do have a first turn play, which is going to be a swamp, and then I'm going to send Gumdrop Poisoner on an adventure and make a food. So, yeah. I am Justin Parnell. I've been playing Magic for a million years, like 25 years almost. Yeah. Uh, and I primarily make... I'm done after that. I primarily make uh, singleton format content, Historic Brawl, Commander, Cube. Those are all my favorite formats. So, I'm playing uh, Obria Dreaming Duelist, as clearly I've never said this word out loud before right now. Uh <laughs> And th it's really just the fact this is a blue-black commander. I literally opened a single black legendary creature to go with all my really busted black cards. So I also have to play some blue cards because I didn't have enough black cards. So we're going to hope all the black cards carry the day. I am excited to see it work. I actually use this as my commander in the pre-con fairy deck. So I think she's a really good card. I'm excited to see her work for 
two of our players tonight. I nice. uh, built Ash Party Crasher, and if you missed the first part of the stream, I speed built this. And it's actually kind of ironic that Gunner is in chat because the feeling was very much similar to Commander Sealed, which is an event I'll be at later, and Gunner runs. Um, I built a deck in under an hour. <laughs> and it's a little stressful. Um, 17 days, but we pulled several legendaries. I pulled them all out, picked what I felt would be most synergistic for the deck, which was Ash Party Crusher, threw out the other colors, didn't even look at the cards, and then pulled out as many single red and white cards as I possibly could. There were only a few that I just said I didn't need in the deck at all. And I came in a little short at 96 cards and 40 lands, which is a lot of lands, but it's gonna be fine. So I'm going to draw and I'm going to play a planes. I don't have a turn one play, so Dark Pack, you are next. Sure, sure. So I will draw. Um, I don't think I have anything to play turn one, so I'm just going to throw down a swamp, do a little introduction here. So I'm also playing Obrea, or Obrea, Obrea, oh my god. Obrea? Yeah, it makes me feel I've much better that you also had your first <laughs> out loud saying this on, on stream. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, fairy goodness, uh, ETB effects, control, it'll be a fun time. I got a lot of really good pull. I got some of the rare fairy pulls and some pretty decent uh, mono black stuff as well too, so I'm excited to see some of that in here. Um, so some of y'all probably don't recognize me without my cosplay on, so I'm an official Magic the Gathering cosplayer along with being an MTG ambassador as well too. Uh, you probably better recognize me as Elish Norn at Magic Cons or as Shyok at Magic Cons. Uh, speaking of which, I'll be at Vegas as a Shyok uh, coming up in about a month's time here. Um, yeah, I'm just excited to try this out. I just literally built this like 10 minutes before I came on stream too. So I'm ready for the chaos. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. I'm so excited. Also, I was going to ask you because I have seen you at several Magic Cons and I do recognize yes. you out of uh, cosplay. But how is the changes to Ashaya coming? Are you done completely? So um, I was, I can say this selectively, but I have been contacted by Wizards for another project while I was midway through <clears throat> Shyok. So I'm doing that first because it is Fighting. a big ask. I'm trying to get that done in my Ashayak updates. Hopefully it can be done pretty quick because it's just changing a few things here or there. I am changing the whole cowl setup though because I want something different. Uh, but it's coming along well and the other project's coming along well too. It's just I had to literally cancel an entire trip to Atlanta I was planning this weekend and there's oh, a lot of work that needs well, to be done still. If you but, come to Atlanta, if you come to my backyard and you don't let me come say hi, I'm going to be real grumpy. <laughs> next time Dragon Con's going on, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, I am not going to make Dragon Con. I really want to. I know Voxy's going to be there. It's mm -hmm. only a couple hours for me, but I have pre-release this weekend. And then Sunday is my one day of like doing nothing. And that's what I'm going to do this week. Lucky. I thought about driving out, but it's just not going to happen. But yeah, uh, I'm excited to see the changes, and I love every costume I've ever seen you in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Very excited to show off everything. It's tough keeping things secret. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that entirely. I just NDA all my friends now. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley. Hello. And also, gotta say, mad respect for anyone who cosplays, because I can barely remember to put together, like, a Halloween costume. <laughs> so, I can barely put together an outfit for normal days, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, I guess me as a human. Um, hi, I'm Ashley, or MTG, and I do, like, historic brawly content on the YouTubes. And then for the Commanda, which, oh my goodness, I, it's so shiny, I just picked... A mythic that I thought's really cool in my fairy favorite uh, color combo, which is, and I'm gonna botch this name too, Ar Arian Arianet of Charmed Apple. Yeah, apparently they... that's it. That's pretty good. <laughs> that was good pronunciation. Yeah. <laughs> I picked. <laughs> I picked the easy one. Hey, it's Ash. 
Well, that's going to confuse me because my nickname used to people calling me Ash, and then my brother's nickname for me is Crashly because I'm really clumsy and I fell down the stairs one time, so he just dubbed me Crashly. So that's like my nickname mm. and my name. So you are actually Ash Party Crasher. <laughs> yeah, probably. Nice. We'll get with Wizards then... about getting pay you paid for that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put in the Swampy Poo, and then I'm going to tap it, for I also have a turn one play. And I'm going to put in this adorable kitty, Warehouse nice. Abby, and then I'll pass. I preemptively respect that cat. That's also in my deck, and uh, I think it's probably a pretty good card. Okay, I will play an island and pass the turn. Sounds good. Mm. I just said it because that was a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pretty right. great kitty. I'm, I'm going to play my mountain, and I'm going to start off as a problem. And oh I'm going to play Impact Tremors. Oof. And I will say, I really love this new enchantment art, the Enchanting Tales. It's oh, yeah. so, it's really so pretty. Cool. I would say about 95%, 95 of them are the best art that all of those cards have ever had. Mm -hmm. And they're like some of the most powerful enchantments that have yeah, been yeah they ever, did not so. no pull, no pulled punches on those uh, <laughs> yeah. on the enchanting tales cards um but that is my turn to play so go ahead all righty draw um i am just going to lay down an island and i will pass it i will be Let's... in cosplay for one event in vegas uh Ooh, i'm bringing my one? bucky onesie to the slumber party <laughs> 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 I have to decide if I want to dress up for that or not or just wear party clothes to be honest I, I haven't made a decision I'm going to be wearing costumes two days so I'll probably wear something yeah, that, a little bit more comfy that's I, probably your opportunity to not do so <laughs> oh you just oh, no. you went away <laughs> I love it when spell table exiles people the Very exile pretty. I don't know was that me that disappeared yeah, yeah disappeared. we lost you I was like yeah. where'd you go yeah, that happens every now and again. Isn't that fun? No worries. Give it a reload here. I think it is your turn, Ashley. Ooh, oh yeah. I guess I'll do that. <laughs> or do you want me to wait for... Uh... Uh, you can go ahead. I'll be right okay. in here. Boom. Um, So this is a card that's good, I think. Um, <laughs> Lord Skittering's uh, Blessing. So nice. when it enters the battlefield, put a wicked roll. Yeah. Yeah. Token. So when I first was reading, because I'm a typical magic player who only reads like one third of the magic card and not in order, I wasn't <laughs> entirely sure about the roles themselves. Uh, but after experiencing them a little bit in the enchantment pre-con, I actually, I really, really I really like them. Yeah. They're yeah. really, really good. And in token decks, and in, yeah. oh gosh, it's going to get gross. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it Pretty... just took me a second because there's so yeah. many variables between mm -hmm. like the monster and all that. Yeah, yeah. Well, the sad thing is the uh, the green white deck that is all rolls so only comes with like two of the roll tokens that you need. Oh, no. Yeah, actually, yeah. So what uh... I did is I kept them separate so I could read them because I knew I was going to have to pick them up and refer to them. And then yeah. I used Infinitag to like label what role was on what creature. Smart. 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 All right, what you got? Well, I'm wicked sick over here. Um, I'm going to attack for two, <laughs> two damage uh, at you, Beth, because you have impact tremors out. And then That's true. I'll pass. All right. I'm going to play the, my commander. Does the wicked roll do anything on it? With attack? flash. Uh, just on death. Or okay, got it. Eyes triggers. Yeah. Okay. So I'm playing Obria, Dreaming Duelist, Flying Flash. Probably not going to be the only person doing that this mm -hmm. turn cycle. Uh, I'll play a Swamp because it's more powerful than an island. And I don't want to pile on. I don't want to pile on. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to attack uh, Ashley for two. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. We'll see if I regret that or not. I will pass the turn after that. No I did play a turn two impact tremors. You did, you did. So I, I reserve the right to attack you in future turns. <laughs> All right. I am going to play 
a snow covered mountain which has no importance it was just the mountain that i grabbed um and i'm going to tap all three and i'm going to play discerning financier mm, uh, very discerning yes it enters so each opponent will deal take one damage and oh, what i like does. about this guy is that at the beginning of my upkeep if an opponent controls more lands than me i get to create a treasure token that's a great card yeah, yeah. it's pretty great Solid, um, solid. So I will pass. Also, for some reason, I can give a player control of a target treasure I control. Because you're so nice. Yeah, That's because why. I'm a nice person. Yeah. Discerning financier. Just have <laughs> to say your... you're a treasure. Aww. <laughs> On your end step, I will cast my commander as well. I cannot believe it. Wow. Um, no. I'm so Twins. surprised. Twinsies. Twinsies. Um, and I'll also play a swamp because it is better. <laughs> yes, yeah, it is. We can all agree. Um, cool. Impact Trevor does have me a little scared, so I am gonna swing to your way, Beth. I understand. <laughs> I just have to make sure I put the commander damage on the right, Obira. Yeah, that's true. Good call. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. I got um, it. That'll be it from me. You can go right ahead, Ashley. Oh, my turn. Wow. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Dude. Wow. And, Boy, and does that, that... Yeah, you get to draw two. You draw two, draw a second one and lose a life. Ooh. Yeah. Get a life pretty, there, right? okay. pretty good. If And, and that's if you control an aura, right? So at the beginning of your drop step, if you control an enchanted creature, you lose one life and you ah. draw an additional card. Got it. It's just enchanted creature. Nice. Mm -hmm. Even better. Yeah. That's very enchanting. Um, <laughs> Hecka enchanting. Um, okay, I'm going to pay three to get my commander out. Um, Pretty good. I think that will nice. be relevant at end step. <laughs> yeah, I think it will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention to what my commander does in, after combat, I guess. Uh, hmm. I, I've had the chance of... I've played exactly one game of commander with a bunch of new commanders from uh, Wild Devil Drain, and I've had the pleasure of losing that game to Ariette. So I know the power of that card. <laughs> Let's see. It kind of feels like a Phyrexian arena. I've been playing with Goose Mother for... Completely the memes. Um, and I named honking my good deck. Time. Yeah, I named my deck uh, Foul Mommy the Honkening. Yes. <laughs> that was such a fun game. <laughs> and we. Like honk and get the bonk. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> it was really fun. And we, uh, yeah, we added a goose emote and everything. So if anybody puts an emote, it'll actually bounce across my board. You'll get to see it. That's fantastic. Right. Okay, I think I've decided who I'm gonna bonk. Justin. Yeah. I, I figured I figured the bonking was was being returned. Okay. But not a honk bonk or a cat smack. Not as good. Cat smack, not a honk bonk. <laughs> yeah. 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 Those two things are different. You gotta be gotta be precise with this. Okay. So my commander at in step, which I was gonna move to unless y'all are gonna blow it up, uh nope. is each opponent loses X life, and I gain X life where X is the number of auras I control. I only control one at this time, so y'all will lose we'll each one. lose one. All right. All right. And, and then I'm going to cast Quick Study, which is just draw two cards, instant speed for three. So, Look at you using one, instance at instant speed. Two. Yeah. It's a little trick, little trick I picked up. That's like my right. worst habit is that I'm like, I got it instant. I'll uh -oh. cast it now. <laughs> okay uh and i am going to play one of my favorite magic cards which i'm so glad was reprinted it's compulsion uh -huh. so Ooh. compulsion is a uh blue enchantment that says you can pay one in a blue discard a card to draw a card or you can pay one in a blue sacrifice compulsion to draw a card which is great because i have six cards in my hand and i'm gonna be honest with you five of them are lands but soon they won't be, so... All right. Do I want to break this cycle of violence? Because I'm not blocking with my commander, let's be honest. She's not a blocker. 
she's not a blocker. If if I'm blocking with my commander, I'm losing. So and I'm not losing yet. All right. No, I'm not going to break the cycle yet, uh, Ashley. I'm going to come back at you for two. And I'm punching myself. Okay. Yeah, but you're 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 punching us a lot. Okay. Ends. And I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to pass the turn after that. All right. I'm going to untap. I see that you have four lands and I have three lands. So, I'm going to make a treasure. That is true. Thank you for you your tricked me into going first thinking it would be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All this whole time I was like I'm going to get that discerning financier and I'm going to start making treasures. <laughs> Your play, your dastardly plan has worked already. Yes, as all as all financiers have is a dastardly <laughs> plan. Um, let's see. Well, let's start things off. First things first. I'm gonna play Ash Party Crasher. Um, she is a two two. She has haste and she has this new ability called Celebration. I think it's new. Um, whenever she attacks, if two or more non-land permanents enter the battlefield under my control this turn, I get to put a 1-1 counter on her. Well, I got this treasure here, and I got this ash here, and, and math, maths, and I think that's two. Yeah. Well, that all checks um, out to me. I only listened to half of it, but it sounded great. <laughs> exactly. I have an ash over here. Does that count? <laughs> Is there nope. a legendary rule? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to do a thing, because... Ashley Ash is becoming a problem, in my opinion. Yeah, we can, so, we can agree with that. I'm going to tap this plane, and I'm going to break the spell on Lord Skitter's Blessing. It says destroy target enchantment, and if a permanent I controlled or a token, blah, 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 but it wasn't mine, uh, draw a card. Yeah, or a token. It's not this. a token. Um, yep, because I think it's a better target <laughs> than your token enchantment. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna keep drawing cards I inevitably. I was like, I want to draw a card really badly, but I feel like, you know, it's gonna do that. Cat's gonna do what you think it's gonna do. Mm -hmm. Not gonna be sad because I get to make a rat. Oh. You get to make a rat. Also, that's if you, I hope you did please take one off of Ash for impact. Impact trimmers. Impact. Gotcha. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna go to combat. On. Um, that is a 2-4. That is not okay. I don't like that. I just wanted you to know that. In case you didn't know that, I don't like that. Um, but we're going to go to combat anyways. I know that I don't have a meaningful attack, but I want to put a 1-1 one -one counter on my commander, so I am going to mm -hmm. attack you Ash with Ash and put a 1-1 one -one counter on her, and she becomes a 3-3. Three -three. It only uh, seems right. Is this yeah. real life? This is um, this is real is life. Fantasy. It is not fantasy. <laughs> uh, how much damage was that again? It's just three. You could block it. Uh, oh, just three? Okay. Yeah. I thought it was way scarier. Okay, I'll block with my commander. I'm going to have to admit, I did a trick. I did a trick. Oh, oh boy. You wouldn't hurt a rat, would you? Oh, rats. Oh, rats. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my treasure... And I'm going to play Archon's Glory, which is going to give target creature Ash plus two plus two until it. Oh boy, that is a that is a tricksy trick. <laughs> that is a tricksy trick. <laughs> um, I I apologize. I didn't like Ariette at all. She hurt me. It's okay. If I lose to myself, I'm kind of winning. We are never, ever, ever That's getting a good back way to look together. At <laughs> and I will pass my turn. All right. We'll untap and draw. Oblivion says, I support Orzhov's shenanigans. I support Ashley's nonsense. Thank you, Oblivion. <laughs> Feel seen. <laughs> Play the island for turn here. Um, what else are we going to do? Um, you know... Let's see here what we got going on. I just want to um, point out that I took care of all of our problems in one turn. Almost. Almost all of them. You didn't take care of that impact trimmers, which is a problem for the rest of us. <laughs> it is. It is. What about um, that? I didn't take care of that I'm, rat either. I'm going to keep no. spreading the love here. I don't want to pick... Any ire of anybody specifically. So, uh, Justin, you're going to get two in the air. You're okay. Right. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. 
Yeah. Then uh, second main, I will tap one for a Sleep Curse Fey, which enters the battlefield tapped with three sleep count or sleep stun counters on it. So yep. it takes Very three sleepy. turns for it to come back, but it's a three three with flying and ward. I do think that if they called it a sleep counter, I know they'd have to make another thing, and that's the same as done, yeah. but not the same. But if they called it a sleep counter, it would be very on flavor. It yeah. Would, it would. And it would make just as much sense as a stun counter. Yep. Yeah. I think that is going to be it for me. You can go right ahead, Ashley. Untap her. Okay, I still have my rat. I'm still in this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I still got it. As long as you have your rat, <laughs> you'll persevere. I get really attached to my tokens. Um, well, good. Well, that. only only actual pieces of cardboard have been removed for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it can go I, away. It's fun. Uh, I left the token, even though it would have helped me to not. <laughs> That's how we know we're friends. Um, I will pass. Okay. Uh, end of turn, I'm going to activate Compulsion. I'm going to discard this Swamp, and I will draw a card. Yeah. Oh, I forgot ETB on my commander, too. Everyone should have took one. Ooh, yeah. 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 Good call, good call. I have so few fairies, I actually forgot that portion. All right, I'll draw a card for my turn. See, <laughs> I'm not the only one with an Impact Drummers. That's true. Mine's just dainty and has wings. <laughs> I will play a swamp for the turn. Is this better, objectively? Hmm, it is better, yeah. And it's prettier. Mm -hmm. I played as many of the pretty swamps as I could. Okay. Um, I think I just got, just got so many cards I want to discard. All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna return the favor, and we're gonna go to it, Dark Pack, because Alrighty. thirty-seven. That's so much. That's like a hundred more life than me. It's over here. Uh, I will. I'm just gonna pass the turn. Just gonna pass the turn. Just want to see what this compulsion brings. That's all. That's all. No that's big deal. Slightly concerning. All right. Well. I'm going to concern. untap. I'll go to upkeep. I see again that you've fallen into my trap of playing swamps. <laughs> oh so my god, you're going to get me every time. I love every playing time. swamps. <laughs> uh, I will play a mountain as my land for turn. And then, ooh, I have so many choices. I'm going to tap two, three, four. And I'm going to play some heckin' good doggos edge wall pack. It has mm. menace. When it ETBs, I create a 1-1 one, one rat, uh, which will... We're going to take two damage. You're going to take Oof. two damage. Jeez. Oops. I know. With 30. I know. I'm... I'm to the 20s. I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm so bad that I'll become my own rat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and because I'm a greedy red player this game, I'm going to tap completely out. Why, and, why, why not? And I'll play Skewer Slinger. Uh, this guy has reach, so no, no, no. Uh, What's and when a value on that? Two, a one, and a red. Cool. Why you got to ask questions like that? <laughs> don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. All right. One, correct. Yeah, take another one. Yep, take another one. Yep. Uh, when it blocks or becomes blocked, it deals one damage to that creature. He is a 1-3, so uh, any Obiras coming this way will die. Oof. Wow, that's called it out by name. Yeah, I yep. like that. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, so I'm going to go to combat, and oh, goodness. I think Ash is going to take a visit over to Dark Pact. She will get a 1-1 counter on her, making her a 4-4 four, four commander. So that's like a lot. I know. Yeah, I can't do nothing lot. about that. Going down to 20. Hey, Dark Pass, hold on before. <gasps> oh, do you want to not swing at me for, for a minute? I, I yeah, I, I would I'd happily not swing at you if you're your All last right, day. I'm going to pay 3. Oh. And I'm going to flash in Werefox Bodyguard. 
When it enters the battlefield, exile up to one other target non-fox creature until where fox leaves the battlefield. I'll target uh, myself. Wow. Ash, Ash. Ash is foxy, but not that foxy. <laughs> Ash is not going to sit under that fox. She's going to go to the no. commander. That's, that's You've been out foxed. List. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. Ash will be back. She will remember this. <laughs> um, I'll be uh, waiting with the charmed apple. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> I passed my turn. All righty. We'll untap. Uh, we'll remove a stun counter. Draw. Ooh, very nice. Okay. Um, so we will put down a swamp. And I think then we will. So you're. You got a blocker, Bath, that could kill my commander. It could sorry, do Justin. that. Yeah, I'm sorry, really, Justin. I got to get you that, to save me. I I can't believe it. I thought we were in this together. <laughs> now I got a 27. Apparently not. I'll take it. <laughs> there can be only one. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished that set. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm just gonna I'm gonna tap two then for second main, and I'll bring in uh, a Baro Naughty. It is a one three flyer. Mm. It has life link as long as I control another fairy. So it's gonna trigger my commander's uh, ETB effect. So everyone takes one. Lose another one. Yep. That feels a lot like impact tremors. It does feel a lot like impact oh. tremors. You know, it's very specific though. I need I need my little little fly guys. Um. I think I'm going to pass after that. You can go right ahead, Ashley. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I will say, I do like how this deck is working out for it being built so quickly, and now mm -hmm. I'm very tempted to build it in real life. Not that <laughs> this is not real life, but... Yeah, like real, like real, real life. Real, real life, you know, not real, the fantasy. Real Right. That we call for that we're in. Real's life. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pay one two. Listen, I'm I'm drinking a caffeinated beverage at nine thirty at night because otherwise I was gonna be yawning this whole game. Because <laughs> you're a real one. <laughs> yeah. If it makes you feel better, I chugged a bunch of coffee before this too. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put in the princess takes flight. Oh, that's so one. pretty. Yeah. This very, very cool. Um, oh, it's got a unicorn. Oh, well, yeah, it is a unicorn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on that note, though, I was going to exile your reacher over there, Beth, the one that keeps them from attacking with uh, my little fairy friends. Exiled okay. forever or exiled until a time? I think it's... Until After three, goes away. so like another mm -hmm. two turns, or if you blow this up, well, it's specifically on chapter three. Yeah, so if it disappeared Actually, before it, chapter, if three. if something were to happen to that prior to chapter three, that creature would not come back. Ooh. Yeah, because it leaves the battlefield or enters the battlefield. She doesn't need any ideas, guys. <laughs> that was a rules related suggestion, not a uh, gameplay related suggestion. Yeah, I'll read my cards on my own time. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna Ashley, if you two. make me spit water out on my unsleeved cards, <laughs> I might cry. Well. <laughs> uh, oh, I almost put this in upside down. Um, so, a Ooh, tale that is for a the good ages. Um, oh. Enchanted creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Nice. My little cat over here. <laughs> that, that cat is getting pretty raw. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> No, oh, five. It's gigantic. Yeah. It's all, the, it's all the rats. So four, four, just a four, four. I think. Yeah. Well, does four, Wicked four. give it plus one, plus one? Um. So it's a one, one, and then it's oh, okay. I got it. One plus one and then it gets plus two, plus two, for... plus two, plus got two. Got it. Got it. One. I can do math. It's fine. Yeah. Eh, it's overrated. Um. Uh. Panic. I guess I only have a rat. 
<laughs> that I want to attack with at the moment. So, uh, Justin, do you want to take one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just I'll just take one. <laughs> I don't want to kill your I don't want to kill your rats. Too cute. Thank you. <laughs> and then I'll pass. Okay. I'm gonna compulsion. I'm gonna discard this swamp. Actually, no. I'm gonna discard this island. Yeah, because swamps are, worse. are better. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'll draw. Okay. Now I now I'll discard this swamp since <laughs> I drew another one, and I drew another swamp. Okay. Oh my god. No problem. Look, I love drawing swamps. Not this a big deal. <laughs> yeah, not a big dead. Yeah, totally fine. Totally fine. All right, draw. I will play this swamp. That's probably my favorite drawing of yours to date, Ashley. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot okay. Very good. Artist I am. <laughs> All right, and I'm. Gosh, I feel like I'm jumping the gun a little too early on this. You gotta yellow it sometimes. Yeah. It's still relevant, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to do it, though. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm going to play Grave Pact. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of my bangers, for sure. Oh, no. Do you have an outlet? Yeah. Uh, so, we are going to pass the turn. We are no longer going to be attacking. So, attack me uh, at your own risk. I will almost certainly block. Spectacular. I see that you have still continued. Oh my to fall god, you got me again. Trap. I played another swamp. You did. It's great. We're doing great. I'm gonna make a treasure. Uh <laughs> I will play a mountain as a land for turn. I'm going to tap one, two, three, four for my commander. Because someone was rude and had to get rid of her. <laughs> and then I'm gonna tap two. And I'm just going to play, I want a mouse. I want a Mises Armory Mice. This one is a 3-1, and it has celebration as well. Um, so technically, it is a 3-3 three, three this turn. Uh, but it doesn't mm. have haste, so it doesn't really matter. But that is two creatures that will enter, <laughs> unless anybody does anything about it. So uh, please take two. Take two. Boom. Boom. Uh, 23, that's so little. Yeah. Um, and wow. Justin, I'm going to go ahead and swing this dog at you for three. It does have menace. It looks like you only have one block. Menace? Menace. Oh my Menace. God. <laughs> I was not prepared for menace. I will take three. Um, go to 20. But how you can still is... attack everyone else. I'm just going to not block. Yeah. Um, how big is that thing on the left? Dark pack. Thing on the it's a one, one three that, that fairy is a one three, three, but I can pump it with uh three mana to give it plus one plus zero until end of turn. Mm -hmm. Fair, fair, fair. And that's Obira, but it does damage, she does damage to opponents. I'm fine with this. I'm gonna swing Ash at you as well. She's gonna get a one one counter, Justin. Um, and you can block if you'd like. What? Now, what, what, what is happening right now? I want to put counters on my commander, and you said you block, and you said attack me, so I did. Well, I, well, well hold on. I said attack me at your own peril, but that was really just to, to, to deter <laughs> you from attacking. I didn't really want you to attack me. I thought you would see through that. All right, I'm going to take another down, three. What? <laughs> um, that is commander damage. With that, I have no cards in hand. I am tapped out except for this lovely treasure that Justin keeps helping me get. And uh, I'll... It. <laughs> I'll pass my turn. I've been tricked every turn. <laughs> and boozled. All righty. We'll untap. We'll take down a counter on our sleeping fairy. Very cool. It's okay. My island for turn. My cat is taking up all my lap space right now. <laughs> Sees all the mice on the board. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very, very interested in those mice. Very, very interested. I said something one stream where I was like, I don't even know how to play this game. And somebody in chat goes, aren't you a magic ambassador? And I was like, yeah, I don't know how to play. <laughs> <laughs> See how many words there are? That's a lot of words. I don't know how to deal with that. <laughs> Reading is hard, guys. Is this a book club? <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Um, uh, I think I am going to. Oh goodness. Yeah, we're gonna send. Uh, Beth, any flyers on your side? No. No. All right. We're gonna yeah. send three in the air your way. There we go. That's what I like to see. And two of that Red assessment at its best. From your. <laughs> Um, okay, then we will tap five, bring in a high fey negotiator, the three five flying. It has bargain, but I did not bargain for it. Oof, uh, okay. But I will get the ETB off of my commander, so everyone loses one. You know, you talk about threat assessment. What do you do when the threat is you? What? <laughs> I am a, a sweet little fairy here for your your teeth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> to take them out of my head while they're still attached. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I think that's it for me. Go right ahead, Ashley. All right. And Taparu. Uh, is this first or do I draw first? You draw first, draw and then that's okay. beginning your first main, beginning your main phase. Okay, thank you. Bow. Uh, What's the second creature? tap here? And, um, target creature you control gets plus two, plus two, and gains flying until end of turn. Mm. You the skies. To fly, don't you? That basically <laughs> makes it a pigeon. Do you read my mind? <laughs> <laughs> it typically makes it a pigeon. <laughs> the only thing separating a rat and a pigeon is wings. <laughs> if it's a really big rat, then it becomes a goose. <laughs> I agree with that. I think that makes sense. I was going to maybe do the kitty. That would be a 6-6. Six, six. Be a big yeah. old kitty. Ooh, is that the go sumo? <laughs> yeah, that's yes. honk. Honk. He's really small, Honky. but he has a little knife in his mouth. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I think the smart play would be to make the cat flying and get plus two. I mean, the skies. Probably. It's much funnier to make the rat <laughs> <laughs> So I think I'll do that. Um, it's pretty dang I don't know funny. how I'll represent that, though. Do whatever your heart desires. You could just give it wings for a second. Oh, yeah, you're right. Ah, big brains. Yeah. <laughs> You can draw those wings. I'll turn its tail into a wing. Perfect. Now that worked. And then here's its tail. Oh god, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> tail, his tail is twice as long. It looks yeah, exactly like, like a rat <laughs> with wings. <laughs> Thank you. you know, I'm I'm a great artist here. Um, mm. Megan always says it doesn't matter what it looks like. Drawing is for everyone. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'm going to put in this Evolving Wilds and I'm going to crack it to go get a planes because I'm real basic over here. And planes. I too partake in pumpkin spice. <laughs> Actually, I don't like pumpkin spice. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I did enjoy the, I knew it was almost spooky season by how many pumpkin spice memes I saw. Okay. Hopefully that was an acceptable amount it's of shit. Christian shuffling. girl autumn, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> First of all. <laughs> Ouch. Um, okay. Cards in hand, friends. I this many. Four. Five. You have ten cards? No, I have ten? none. This is my oh. hand. Sorry. Yeah. Zero. You got four. I got four. five. Okay. Five. Justin, you've been picked on a bit, and then Beth has no cards in hand. So the last, sorry, Dark Pact, our pact has ended, I guess. Um, I'm going to pay for for Renet's Whisper. Target opponent discards two cards, and then create a Wicked Roll uh, token attached up to one target creature I control. Okay. So that's wicked sick. I am going to... Your creatures are so it. wicked. I'm just going to keep making that joke, sorry, y'all. I'm going to discard okay, a swamp and a disdainful stroke. Ooh. 
Oh, and you were holding that disdainful stroke for so many turns, and you're like, no, I'll, th- I don't need this turn. I was like half Shields were down. debating on the grave pack, but I was like, no, yeah. you need something. Shit, <laughs> it's true. I still have so many lands in my hand. Oh no, I should put it on my rat. What am I thinking? Yeah, now it's a wicked... Now it's a 5-5 five, five rat. <laughs> uh, I think it's poor. Or yeah, math, right? 5-5 five, five this turn. Yeah, okay. Um, Wait, does it get because it got they got plus two in flying? Yeah, so it has the plus two, plus two, plus two, so it's plus four. Six. So it's a six, six. Six, six rat. That's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's so unhappy for what it's about to do. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna bomb ah. you for six in the air. Who are you oh, hitting? Has happened. Who, who are you bonking? <laughs> Who are you bonking? Uh, Beth. Beth. Okay. Oof. <sighs> Big bonk. That's a lot. Bonking has happened, and I'll pass. And All right. Out from underneath my face. I'm going to compulsion. I'm going to discard another swamp. Draw a card. Yep. Okay. Draw another card. Okay, I'm going to play a non-basic land. Hello, Crystal Grotto. And when it enters the battlefield, I scry one. You've once again uh, actually into my plan. do want that. Okay. We are going to pay two. I'm going to sacrifice this food and gain three life because I really need it. Mm-hmm. Yep. One, two, one, two, three. And then... My very first turn, Gumdrop Poisoner will return from its adventure. Uh, and it says, when it enters the battlefield, up to one target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is the amount of life I gained this turn, which was three. Ooh. And, you know, I'm tired of giving you treasures, because I'm not going to stop playing lands. I keep drawing them. So uh, that financier has made a bad I bet know. finally. Yeah, it's got to go. Get on, get on out of here. Okay. But and... I would have given you my treasure. But you never did. But I could have. <laughs> well, well you... uh, it's gone. We'll, we'll never know. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn again. I don't All think right. I can afford to attack. All right. I will un tippity tap. I will not get a treasure. That hurts. And I will draw. But you still have a treasure from last turn, so it's like you had one from this turn. Is that how that feels? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think that's right. That makes sense to me. Treasure was the mana you spent all along? <laughs> that work? <laughs> all right. Treasure is the jank that you play with your friends. Exactly. Uh, we're going to send this Edgewall Pact at Dark Pact and Ash at Dark Pact as well. Oh, all right, um, what are the totals on those creatures? This is a 3-3 three, three Menace, and this is a 3-3 three, three with nothing. Ooh, and Ash does not get a counter this turn, because there was does. no treasure. Yeah, there was no treasure, no love. 3-3 yep. three, three with nothing, huh? 3-3 three, three with nothing. When you have a lot of mana open and you're in combat tricks colors. I'm not Trixie. Uh, Don't ask Ashley how she feels about that statement. <laughs> I'll just let it through. Yeah, what the total of uh, six? Correct. Unless you're going to do anything? I'm not. Okay. All I'll right. I'll take the, the six. Oh, that's my turn. I love this. Alrighty. Let's see here. Just gotta make sure. It was I'm almost tracking. like having a treasure, except not. Yeah, not basically really. the same thing. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. It felt the same. All right, let's untap. And we'll remove the final stun counter. It still remains tapped, however. Draw. Okay. Great, great, great. Okay. I will say this set is probably my favorite in a long time. I just love how silly it is. It is pretty it's dang really good. Well it's also 
arguably one of the most adorable sets ever. Yes, Definitely, it's yes. so cute. Yeah. Um, Beth, I'm going to return the favor here. Um, we have six in the air coming your way. I like that. How big is your commander? That's a chunk. Uh, two, two. Okay. Oh, she's got tricks. What if she just didn't exist anymore? Oof. Uh, in <laughs> response to that, I will tap four. This won't get her ability off. Well, I'll get one last trigger on this. I'm going to flash in a Sting Blade Assassin. Uh, it would have an ETB to destroy target creature and opponent controls that was dealt damage, or de that dealt damage this turn, but I just want to get one last proc off of yep. my command. One is to all controls. lose one more life. Yep. yep. All right. And then Kellen's Light Blades will deal three damage to target creature. That is your commander. Yep, yep, yep. All righty. And then I will take uh, four. Uh, yes, that is four. All right. You you gain one from lifelink, I think. Yes, I do. I was like, hold on, what? It wasn't me. New, new, new. Um, oh, I'm going to slightly change how I tap that out, too. We'll do two blue, black here. Yeah, so that's four. Um, and then second main, I'm going to tap two for another... Borrow naughty hmm. one three nice. flyer with lifelink. Yep. Um, I will pass after that. Go right ahead, Ashley. All right. Pow. Oh goodness, they didn't know how to untap. I swear. Um. Draw. All right. All right. All right. Um. Go to step three. Your creature returns. <laughs> Good news! Ash is back. None of us uh, messed the... with it. Oh, it's that it was it was the reach <laughs> thing. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Get yeah, out of here, fairies! <laughs> no. Why though? You don't yeah. have any fairies. No, yeah. that was my rat. rat. Yeah, because uh, an, an enchantment died. I got you. Yeah, there you go. More rats. Oh. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that that rat no longer has wings. It, no. it it's Red Bull ran out. Ah oh, man, fate worse than death. Right. Mondays, am I right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think about life and stuff. Ugh, That's what I'm also it. thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put in the swampy poo and do quick math. Don't look at me. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're going in the tank. Don't mind me. <laughs> math. Ah. To go back to elementary. Two plus three is five. Okay. Yeah. Tapped my mana. Um, there's my commander. If you can He's see back. past the sad rats. Yeah. Yep. 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 Wicked sick. Okay. Um. Now. Uh, oh yes. Where? I need an impact trimmer. Everyone else has had one. This isn't your commander, that? Yeah. Very <laughs> yeah, serious, though. <laughs> Listen, how you built your deck is up to you. <laughs> let me let me tell you, the packs had their way with me, so uh, I was only I was only willing to do what I was gifted. I understand that entirely. Yeah. I was actually talking to my LGS because you know as LGSs are starting to get in product and stuff and finally catch up to the rest of you know everybody else and mm -hmm. i was talking to them about some of the pulls and the boxes that we'd opened and things that people had seen and not seen and i i was like i just don't know like i feel like i just got the worst boxes so far and then i opened this box and this box was pretty gas so yeah exact opposite for me i had a really good time with my collector and set boxes and this one was like Although I did get, well. I got a misprint parallel lives, which is pretty cool. That's cool. Ooh. It's too, it's darkly printed. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. nice. That is cool. Yeah. I was pretty happy with this box. Not great for what we were specifically doing. Right. But that after this stream fun. is over, I'll be happy with it. <laughs> totally yes, fair. That box. 
I got lucky and got the pretty wrist. Whoa. Nice. My camera's blurry, but <laughs> I cool. got uh I got the cute the reason I built the goose mother is because oh. I got the cute doubling season. The geese. I got a season. pack with the goose mother and yes. doubling season and it's nice. pretty yeah. fun. My last pack had had a doubling season in this box as well. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna pay two for prophetic prism. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Quite Wild prophetic. Card. Very indeed, prophetic. indeed. Upon the ETB. All right. I don't have to do with life and stuff because everyone's spooky. Um, <laughs> we got wicked roll. I don't want to lose my rat though. That's too scary. Mm. Yeah, can't be losing your rat. Exactly. Uh, I think I'll just pass combat, honestly. Well, I'm being a coward over here. Um, and just move to end step, and I will drain for one, two. All right. Two, two rolls. Two 16. Seven. Okay. End of turn. I'm going to discard this island mm -hmm. and draw a card. Okay. I got it. Certainly, I will draw something good at some point. Okay. Okay. An island. All right. Activate only as a sorcery. Well, still going to do that. Okay. We're going to play Living Lectern. Uh, I can pay one, sacrifice it, draw a card, and then make a sorcerer roll attached to a creature I control. Um, and of course, whenever I sacrifice a creature, you know, everybody's got to sacrifice a creature as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, let's see. Draw a card. I think I want to draw a card. I think that sounds pretty good. Yeah. I, don't, I don't need this crystal grotto. Okay, because I only do this as a sorcery. So, we will sacrifice this. Mm -hmm. Trigger Grave Pact. And then, uh, so everyone has to sacrifice a creature, everyone else. I'll, I'll sacrifice, sacrifice my rat. Fairy. Okay. Uh, and then I will draw a card, and I will make someone a sorcerer. Uh, gets Whenever this creature attacks, cry one. Hmm. Your commander kind of looks like a... a little sorcery? Yeah. yeah, they're both warlocks, but they can be sorcerer warlocks. I think I'm actually going to give it to Gumdrop Poisoner because Gumdrop Poisoner has lifelink. That's fair. I'm multi class. And all Sorry, fair. I didn't get my mute on for that one. <laughs> okay. And God, there's a lot of not attacking going on. I don't I'm know what you're mean. talking about. I'm yeah, attacking. Swinging. Yeah, I was I was mainly referring to Ashley. No. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I didn't want to do math. <laughs> yeah. I need to I need to come and I need to come and get some life though. So I think I got a I think I got a plan. I think it's a good plan. Maybe it's a good plan. Maybe it's a bad plan. I don't really know. All right, here's the plan. The plan is we're going to attack with Gumdrop Poisoner, and whenever it attacks, we're going to scry one, but i got to declare who I'm attacking first, so this is going to be my scry. Mm -hmm. um, I think, Dark Pack, you seem, like, uh, you seem like you're the most open for business here. <laughs> open for business. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The business of murder. The business of murder. We're gonna attack for four and I will scry one. Um I mean that's not bad, but it's not good enough. I'm gonna put it on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Attacking for four uh with lifelink. Yeah. I'm just trying to gain some life. Yeah. It's a four three. Down yeah, I'll take it. Down to okay. down to nineteen. Nice. One, two, three, four. Get that sweet, sweet life. Okay. And then we are going to play against my better judgment. Dark tutelage. 
Ooh. So the beginning of my upkeep, I reveal the top card of my deck, and I put it in my hand, and then lose life equal to its CMC. Uh-huh. Hurts you like Surely, nothing could go wrong. <laughs> this uh, I will like pass the turn. I will pass the turn after that. All right. I'm try and move these, move these down so I can... They're all uh, visible. Crap. My rat hit the gym. Is it daunting too? No, it's bulked up. <laughs> Okay, well, Justin, you opened yourself up for business as well. Okay, all right, well, so, come, come at me. This economy? This economy. We're going to swing uh, six at you. One has menace, one does not. And then what's, I... What's that little, uh, the white one? This is the armory mice. It's a three one. Three one, okay. And then I will swing Ash Party Crasher at Dark Pact. Okay. Um, I will block your 3-1 with my commander. Yeah. How big is uh, Ash? She is a 3-3. Three, 3-3? Three. Three, three? Um, <coughs> and what, remind me of her ability exactly. She gets counters on if, damage? No, or... she gets counters if I have two or more permanents enter that are non-lands each turn. She gets one. Gotcha. Um, I am gonna. Block. I don't want to block. I'm scared. I'm 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 undoing my block. I will block your commander with my sting blade assassin, which is a three one. Okay. Yeah. So your sting and blade. I, and I have I have no blocks. Okay. I'm just gonna take five. Uh, six. I'll take six. Talk right. me into it. My commander will die. Okay, and then I'll go to second main, and I'll pay six to play oh, this my seems commander. Like okay, I was like, this seems like shenanigans. Nah, but no. no shenanigans. I just now have an untapped commander. We are going to take one from that impact trimmers, though. You will that take one true. for the impact trimmers. Man, I remember when I was at 20 life. It seemed like a lifetime ago. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's my turn. I'll pass. All right, let's untap. Draw. Uh, you said let's untap, and I legit almost un started to untap. <laughs> Everybody, like, you see me like <laughs> Not you, me. It's a cool new card. <laughs> like, great, let's untap. I'm here for it. Interested. Okay. Um. Okay, okay, okay. They did like a Uno secret layer where you just skip people's turns. Oh no. Uno secret layer. <laughs> I will um, say I like I like a lot of secret layers. I am a secret layer stand because I like the alternate printings and the yeah. universes yeah, beyond same. stuff. Uh, yeah. yeah, same. But I'm not a huge fan of this one. Like Yeah. I uh well my favorite artist finally got uh, the artist spotlight. So, oh nice. I'm, I'm in oh, for that nice. one. Yeah. Uh, which artist? Have Walker. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in the DHS one, maybe because the sliver. Um, yeah, the sliver first sliver. Over, the first, first sliver, sliver looks yeah. cool. Yeah, I did like yeah. the rewind in that because they literally made it look like a rewinding tape. That was pretty yeah, that was hot. Pretty cool. All right, I'm going to pay it forward to cast my commander. Right. Um, and then I will pay one for the sorcery adventure. Uh, price of beauty to create a wicked roll token. I'm going to attach it to my commander. But I worked so hard to kill her. <laughs> nah, she back. There we can off on the adventure. All right. Um... Hey, team Rocket Grunt Tom. What to do, what to do. Everyone's kind of scary. Best swinging hard. Justin's got a big sorcerer over there. Um, That's some stuff. You do, you do. Um, I think gaining a little bit of life back would be smart, though. Um. Beth, I am, or actually, Ashley, you have any flyers? I do not. 
All right, then you're getting a one three flyer. Oh, hey, Valhalla damage. Yep. Bang, bang. Damage. Mm. And I will gain a life. Would you prefer me to call you Loch Ness now or stay with Valhallian? Also, if you prefer Valhallian, you're going to have to remind me every time you come into chat because I read (laughs) and then I say. (laughs) I think that's going to be it from me. So you can go right ahead. All right. And tap a room. I need some more food tokens. Oh my gosh, I went through all of my tokens yesterday and gave a good 15 tokens to one of my friends because he's got a uh, Samwise and Frodo food deck. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna pay nothing because I'm gonna put those planes in play and then I'm gonna pay three. I think. Yeah. So, so. Three manas have been tapped. For something we've never seen. Before. Oh my god! <laughs> well, at, oh at least gosh. it won't just be me. What Actually, I think it's me. Uh, uh, discerning a uh, fancier, your little treasure. Oh friend. my fancy, my fancy financier. Yeah, I actually had that in my starting hand. Nice. Wow. <laughs> what a journey. <laughs> <laughs> and I kept wanting to cast other things instead of it. Um, and Justin okay. focused mine instead. I didn't know the other one existed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ness, have a great night. Thanks for joining. I have eight lands. Uh, Listen, just because um, you didn't know doesn't mean you didn't. You didn't uh, think yeah, there's no that. excuse. Like, there's no excuse. I'm just saying. Yeah. You should have known. I mean, <laughs> Beth, that sounds like something a cop would say. I'm just being honest. <laughs> <laughs> well. My family's more Italian, so we we swing on the other side of that fence. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if I attack, everyone's just gonna hit me in the air. And I only got like two creatures that can actually, or I guess three now, four four that can block. Hmm. Everything but that rat. I do like how you're ma- basically making all of your decisions based on whether the rat will live or die. <laughs> I also like that the rat has gotten bigger and bigger. In yeah, it's it's, it's buff. Yeah, this is it's this is a beefed up rat. It's a four four rat now. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Some people play to win. Some people play to look at their tokens longer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> some people play to win. Some people play with power. Some people play with big rats. <laughs> exactly. Um, does your commander over there, Justin, have um? touch i don't think so right it does not it barely has any touch it's a 2-2 flyer (laughs) it touches our hearts really out of touch if you ask me (laughs) (laughs) i think i'm just gonna pass and let my commander do the damage which is everyone loses two and i'll get oh yeah all right go to 11 all right I'm going to Compulsion again. We're going to discard this Vantress Transmuter, which is probably the worst card in my entire deck, and draw. Ooh, Spelltable thinks that my playmat is a DCI Armageddon. Oh, fun. Nice. <laughs> I just want to share that with you guys. Okay, so Let's upkeep. Upkeep, I have a Dark Tutelage trigger. Now, this mm-hmm. could be really good for me. It could be really bad for me. Let's Survey see. says, one. I will take Ooh. it. All right. All right. Eight of the fairy. Okay, then I'll draw for my turn. We are going to play yet another swamp. You know, it'd be really nice to be able to make a treasure off of that swamp, but here we are. <laughs> it will be, and Ashley will make a treasure off the swamp. Aww, they <laughs> will. Okay, uh, we're going to play fairy dream thief. Is that and the that first now fairy? I f- it is my first fairy, yeah, <laughs> baby's first fairy. So baby's I'm gonna scry fairy. one, and then everyone else is gonna lose. lose yes, one. scry one. Now this is really important because this could be the card that I re- okay. No, I gotta keep that. That's a good card. Ooh. Okay. And. I think I want that right now, actually. I think I definitely want that right now. Okay. I am going to 
discard Aquatic Alchemist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Compulsion to draw this. And then I'm going to play Witch's Vanity. Which is... That. that looks yeah, really so pretty. It's, oh, it's so, so great. Witch's Vanity. First chapter, story target creature and opponent controls with mana value two or less. Let me tell you, there's a lot of juicy options. My whole there's a lot thing, of juicy except options, my, except my dogs. And I Can feel I like I. The thing is, I, I actually kind of want to kill your rat, but yeah. um, <laughs> if you if you leave her rat alive, she'll never swing again. No, <laughs> I know. I mean, that is probably the most powerful you. option. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, do you chip, do you pick the powerful option or the funny option? I don't know. Look, they've been working out hard. I, I mean, we can make the argument it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> that rat is yoked out of its mind. Look at it. <laughs> Damn, I should have drawn it differently. <laughs> that rat was definitely like... That on New Capena, getting getting jumped up on Halo. Oh. Uh, I you know what? I think we need to unleash the beast. I'm gonna kill the rat. The revenge arc. <laughs> you actually just got a new rat. I know. That's why I was like reading that. I was like, you know, it's just gonna come on back. So what's up, friend? <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't. But it doesn't have the. Uh, Oh wait! I should just kill the cat. That's so much better. I'll kill the cat instead of the rat. You can have the you can have the rat. I'll kill the cat. Okay, yeah, I'll accept that. So then you don't get a new rat. No more rats for you. Also, that that cat can gain death touch, which I just remembered. I Oof, pro too, probably I read it. When I probably it. bad news. <laughs> yeah. I know. I was okay. like reading through half of these. I was like half realizing, like, oh, I could have been paying mana to untap this. Yeah, I thought you were just holding mana up for something else. Yeah. I thought you were trying to be. I thought you were trying to be real tricky. I'm okay. Sure, I looked very studious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I've been attacked a lot. I got really assaulted last turn, so I'm just gonna pass the turn. No attackies. Okay. I will untap. No upkeep trigger. Hmm. I'll draw. Nope. No upkeep trigger for you. Oh man, <laughs> this is really sad. Uh, I'll play a planes, and mm -hmm. I will. Oh man, yeah, I'll pass. I have nothing that can oh. help me. Yep, it's it's real bad over oh. here in this forty land deck. All right, it sounds like you need a compulsion. <laughs> I've discarded one, two, three, four, five lands. My kingdom Jeez. for a compulsion. Is that se a Jerry sexy didn't rat? Like, they didn't like that you took out Tom, so Jerry's back with him. Oh, God. Jerry, Jerry looks like Jerry's got a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> They're unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. The rats are um, also Italian. <laughs> They're very Italian. So am I. <laughs> Oh, Ashley, you're pretty up there on the life total, huh? Yeah. Um, we are going to. Yeah, we're gonna swing. Do you have any flyers at all, Ashley? I just have some adorable swole rats. Very swole. Yeah. We're gonna send <laughs> no six. All right, no, I do. I'm gonna send six of the air your way. Ooh, it's a. Your commander. Okay. Mm -hmm. It do be that. Well, I'm gonna pay two, and uh, Helen's light blades thingy. I'm gonna sacrifice an art or artifact for the bargain. Yikes! All right. So she Go goes. Ahead. There she goes. No, and no, when no, she dies, no. uh, each opponent loses a life because of the the, yep, the roll. The wicked roll. Yeah. Man, oh wait, yeah. I was... Actually, I forgot about that too. For mine. Oh, I forgot about mine. I should have. I should have attacked so I could scry. Oh. Good thing you remember your triggers, so I'll remember in the future. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So we lost one from yours, also, right? Yeah. I but we don't have so, to roll yeah. back because I. Yeah. No. It, yeah, that's fine. I mean that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just take one. You lose a life. Yeah. 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 All good for me. Um. Pa -pa 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 -pa. Okay. And then you'll just take the three then in the air. Yeah. Okay. 
Cool. One, two, three. All right. Uh, second main, I will tap three to bring back my conceited witch from her adventure. Two, nice. three with menace. And I would I love tap... an adventure. <laughs> They're a good time. My I'll idea of an adventure right now would be four. like a six hour nap uninterrupted. But a dream, dream <laughs> yeah. spoilers? Say yes, that is a dream spoilers. <laughs> that is really. How many cards do you have in your hand? Okay. All right. Is that yeah. also That's a fair? It makes me feel better. Yes, yes, yes. So flying 2 2. And whenever I cast spells not on my turn, get, uh, target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. Do we take another uh, one? No, 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 no. There's You're no commander out. Yeah, oh, no commander oh. Out. Yep, I, li I, I like that it's over there hiding. <laughs> Um, I think that'll be it for me. Go right ahead, Ashley. It too is on a uh, on an adventure. On tap, and I'm gonna make a treasure. That's Mr. Krabs. Oh my gosh! Money, money. <laughs> <laughs> Job. Oh, good. I love having nothing in the no, no options. Um, <laughs> we're gonna play this planes, and how am I supposed to get vengeance? I know we're kind of like all like pointing at each other like Spider Man right now. Like, <laughs> wait, how many? Does anyone have any cards in their hand other than me? I have this one card that's definitely one not card. A swamp. Nothing. Okay. Big old Zippo. It's, and it's I probably not a swamp. This. <laughs> I hope it's not a swamp. That would be real embarrassing. It'd be it, it, it'd be better than a plains. This prism was the only thing that drew me cards. No comment. Wait, no. And the skittering. Like yeah, I didn't have time to look for card draw. Okay, I had 30 <laughs> minutes. Priorities. Um, <laughs> Ashley came in, like, with her deck sleeved, and I'm still opening packs, and I'm like, ah! I was trying to set up my lighting. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> pressure on you. Get in your head. <laughs> nah. Uh, pass. It wouldn't have gotten right. better without you here, I promise. Put on in step. Y'all are gonna take one, and y'all gain one. All right, seven. Oof. Whew. Okay, uh, we're gonna discard this island. Draw a card. Oh god, that was a swamp. I maybe should have left that one on top. <laughs> okay, See, dark tutelage. Dark forced. tutelage. Okay, upkeep. Survey says three. <laughs> one, two. But this, if I place on my turn, I get a food, so that's good. Nice. There you go. Okay. Uh, and then I will draw for my turn. Oof. Glad I missed that one. I will play a swamp. This is going to go to two and makes me a food. Nice. Yeah. Looks like a fancy feast table over there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cute food. Beth, you look like you might have to block if I attack. Do I? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will attack you for four, and I will scry one. In the air? Keep on top. Nope. Not in the air. Oh. Uh, my mice will eat it. Okay. Three power mice? Yeah. Okay. Uh, before damage, I'm going to play Not Dead After All. Until end of turn, target creature you control gains when this creature dies, return to the battlefield tapped under my control, then create a wicked roll token attached to it. So this is going to die. I'm going to gain four life, which is really, really important part of this but equation. I it, what was the back backside of it? Feet. The backside. Well, its power was four. What was this toughness? Three. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. Isn't your creature three power? It was. I... You just said you were attacking for four, so in my brain, I didn't think about its butt side. I was just like, oh, my creature will die, your creature will live. But that's not what happened at all. Yeah, and so this is going to die. Yeah. This is going to go away. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to come back wicked. Yeah. Uh, but Gumdrop Poisoner has an enter the battlefield effect, which says uh, Turk Creature gets minus X minus X uh, for each life you gained this oh. turn. And I have a trigger from Grave Pact. Doesn't oh. it lose the Wicked roll, though? Uh, no, it, it was a Sorcerer before. 
it gains the wicked roll from not dead after all. Oh. So, um, good smack. So technically, technically, grave pack happens first, and then all this right. will come back. Okay. We'll get rid of my dream spoilers. Yep. Derry's gonna tell. I haven't named this one yet. Edric, carry on their dreams. Um. All right. So when Gumdrop Poisoner comes in, it's gonna give something. Uh, minus four, minus four, and I'm gonna give that big nasty commander of yours minus four, minus four. The one that's draining us for all that life. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's gotta be. That's gotta go. That's fair. Gots to go. And clean up my board state. That's all. Yeah, that's all I'm really. That's all I'm really trying to do. Um. <laughs> And to be fair to everyone, I'm going to play Feed the Cauldron, which is the card that I revealed. If you're a target creature with mana value three or less, if it's your turn, make a food. I'm going to destroy your financier because no one gets treasures. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hate finance. Say that to Mr. Krabs. <laughs> okay. I, I have two. No I have two. Bros over here. Yeah. No. Yeah. Get those crypto bros out of here. <laughs> All right, I have two food and boards looking cleaner. Cleaner and leaner. So mm -hmm. I am going to pass the turn. Good. <laughs> oh, look, I don't even have to untap. I'm already there. Oh, look, I'll play a planes. Um, let's go ahead and swing in at Ashley with this dog. Got menace. It's a three. Menacing dog. Yeah. Can't block with my rat. How big is it? It's a three three. Um real quick. Justin, is your wicked rolled person a flyer or are they on the ground? They're on the ground. Okay. Uh, and they're I'll tapped. Take... Okay. I'll just take the two then. Three. Um, don't block. Oh, three. All right. I will tap eight. Play my commander. She's back. This is great for me. Um, and that is it for me. That's my turn. All right. Let's oh, take on. one off of my commander, please. Back to seven. Oh, yeah. Down to 13. All right. Let's untap and draw. Okay. Um, cool. If you guys are actually watching the stream, you can see over my shoulder the dog that my daughter made this of. Aww. I will zoom in. Perfect. He's doing it upside down. I love it. <laughs> so cozy. Um, Ashley. Corolla. I am going to... He's being ridiculous. Wing with my conceited witch and my barrow naughty your way so one in the air two on the ground with manache i can't block the manache so i'll take the whole three damage the four damage oh four boy damage. i will tap six mana to pump up my barrow naughty twice so it'll be three in the air instead so i'll be a total Ooh. of five so another two i think Boom. Yep. Yep. And I will gain three. It's pretty good. I didn't uh, need a life total anyways. <laughs> <laughs> this is will... pretty even. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're all being very judicious. <laughs> uh huh. You had a lot of that life total a little like a few minutes ago. Yeah, it was too much though. I didn't need. Um, it. come down here with me in the single digits, where it's nice <laughs> and dangerous, where you can do your upkeep. <laughs> um, that's gonna be it for me. You can go ahead, Ashley. All right. Draw for turn. Good. In case you're wondering, more mana. Nice. Um. Well, I guess I can recast my commander. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Commander. All right, so 
I don't want to save this, but um, this seems like the time because yeah. people are just flooding out. So I'm going to play Spell Stutter. Can our target spell unless its controller plays two plus one for each fairy you control? So that's four. Oh, just one too oh. many. Yikes. Um, rough. It's okay, I didn't have anything else to do. Uh, pass. <laughs> <laughs> You technically could have paid for it. You have that treasure. Oh, you can pay that treasure. That's true. Oh, oh I could. Oh, I'm right. dying. Yeah, you... Sorry, right. I was oh, nice. pleased to staring into Mr. Krabs' eyes. Oh my gosh, undone by the treasure for a final time. You wasted my <laughs> counter spell. All right, so end of your turn, we're each going to lose one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, at the end of your turn, I'm going to sacrifice both of these food tokens. And I'm going to gain six life to go to nice. a, a balmy 12. All right. What's it like with there. that much life? I uh, let me tell you, it's a whole a whole new world. <laughs> oh, we're twinsies. I think this means you can't hit me, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what it means. Uh, <laughs> I know this is an island because I scratched it on top, and I'll draw for my turn. Ooh, I like that one, but is it good right now? Oh, okay. Uh, create a wicked roll attached to a creature I control. Okay, uh, this is going to bite the dust. And uh, we'll, we'll have our commander be wicked. So, two wicked creatures there. Okay. Hmm. I think I need to... I think I need to <clears throat> scry. I think I need to do my drawing first and then my scrying. So uh, we are going to, yeah, we'll keep this up. All right. I'm going to discard a card with a compulsion. It's going to be this island, my gigantic graveyard here, and then draw a card. That was a little, a little late, but not all, not terrible. Okay. We are going to attack Gumdrop Poisoner. Uh, I'll scry one. I'm going to attack Beth. Okay. How much? It is four. And I think I will keep no i'm gonna put this on the bottom all right i'm gonna double block okay um and kill it okay what is the toughness of both of your creatures uh this is three and this is two but this one will deal one damage before damage. say that last part again uh the skewer slinger will deal damage before damage it deals damage at the block step one damage and then it'll deal its combat damage at the combat damage step Okay, it deals one to it. Yeah, and then okay, I just need to. I was only asking about toughness, so I can know which one. I'll I'll put your um your non commander creature first. Yeah, absolutely. So all right, so this will die. Um, everyone's gonna lose one from my wicked token yep. biting the dust. Yeah, I'm gonna gain four from my uh, gum 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 drop poisoner. One, two, three, four. Um, and then dark. Uh, grave pack triggers, and everyone will sacrifice a creature. And get rid of where your pops. There my commander goes. I'm gonna do my conceited witch. Okay. Uh, I will pay island and swamp, and then I'm gonna play hatchling, hatching, hatching plans. Uh, whenever it's put into a graveyard from the battlefield, I draw three cards. Nice. And then... I will play back for seconds. Uh, and I'm going to bargain it by sacrificing hatching plans. So I'm going to draw three cards. And it says return two target creature cards uh, for my, to my graveyard or hand. If I bargained it, I can put one with mana value four or less on the battlefield. So the gumdrop poisoner is going to go to my hand. My second was for nothing. Uh, and then the living lectern is going to go to the battlefield. 
Copy that. This is going to go to hand. This is going to go here. Hatching plans is going to bite the dust. And then I'm going to draw three cards. One, two, three. You know, it's like you're proving that card draw is really good. <laughs> it's, it is almost like that. That's true. I mean, it kind of feels that way. I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm not a great Magic player. I don't know much about the game. But it, it just feels like that you've got some advantage there. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm gonna play my land. I'm gonna play a land for the turn, Thanks. and then people are getting people are running low on creatures, which is good. That's good news. Good news for me. Um, we're going to God that Ariat's still around. You know what? I can get rid of the aura though. Okay, I'm gonna sacrifice Living Lectern. To draw a card and make a sorcerer roll, um, my fairy dream thief's going to be the sorcerer. Everyone's going to sacrifice a creature for Grave Pact, and then I'll draw a card. To my Barrow Naughty. I'm going to count my mana really quick. And then, my last thing, Gumdrop Poisoner is going to go back on an adventure, and we're going to make another food. I'm going to sack my commander. Okay. And then, then I'm done. That's it. Nothing else. Nice. No, no big deal. All right, cool. Uh, I my board is so clean and nice. It's really, it's really great. Squeaky <laughs> clean. Pretty. Pretty. All right. Got to show it off. <laughs> I am going to play a mountain as my land for turn. I'm going to tap two. I'm going to play Hearth Elemental on the adventure side of Stroke Genius. I'm going to discard my hand and then draw two cards. Ooh. I have no cards in hand, so I'm Spicy. just going to draw two cards. Okay. Okay, so the other side is cost X less to cast, where X is the number of cards in my graveyard that are instant sorceries or have an adventure. So let's see. We have one, two, three. So it costs three less to cast which if it's six, then minus three, that is three. I am doing really big math here and that feels very brave of me. I'm gonna play Hearth Elemental uh, off of the adventure side. And then, thank you, I appreciate impact that. Impact trigger, impact yeah. tremor triggers, yeah. Impact yep. tremor triggers. Impact yep, tremor triggers. one. Say that five <laughs> times that fast. Um, and then I'm going to <laughs> tap five, one of them being my treasure, and I'll play two-headed hunter on its creature side, and I Love will trigger. impact tremors again. Um, oh. Yep, that is very fine and good, and that is my turn. Alrighty. It's like card draw is good. Thanks for teaching me that. Pretty dang good. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I illustrated the point, that card draw card jumped to the top of your deck. It was like, I'm useful now. Yeah. You didn't know this, but I don't actually play Magic the Gathering. I'm a, like, magic person where I just, like, <laughs> and it just happened. You're an actual magician. I'm an actual magician. Yeah. <laughs> That's the word for it. It's a magic <laughs> person. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah. Listen, words yeah, are hard, we'll guys. That. Okay. I agree. We're going to. Creatures up on Justin's side. You have I have a two-two and a three-three. Three-three flyer, huh? Three-three flyer and a two-two flyer. Okay. If you need to bonk me to gain life, I won't be upset. I don't have any life gained bonking, unfortunately, no, anymore. Right. Yeah, gave them up. Uh... I feel that, Bane. Justin drew a lot of cards, that's what I'm scared about. Yeah, I have four cards in my hand, and I played a lot yeah. of cards last turn. Yeah. Um, We're gonna send... Uh, both my creatures your way, Justin. So that's a total six in the air. Nice. Okay. Um, are they both three threes? Uh, one's a three five. 
and the other's a 3 3. Okay. They're both flyers. All right. I will block the 3 3 with my 3 3 commander. Copy that. That damage feels bad. Yep, that happens. All right. Okay. I take three. three. One, two, three. Um, and then wicked roll dies, so everyone will lose. Everyone else will lose one. Yep. Um, and when my commander dies, grave pack triggers, so everyone sacrifices a creature. Yep. No. The rat. The rat's finally gone. <laughs> I refuse uh, to erase the art because I can't accept this. I will then tap six for my commander. And I think I will uh, pass the turn after that. Go right ahead. Actually. I'm hanging on by a thread. I'm just hoping this is the card that I've been wanting to play. It is not. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hear Ashley. I don't know if you knew this, but if you draw more cards, you get to play more cards. I think you Facts. manifested card draw to <laughs> Did I? <laughs> I did. Uh, everyone card draw. It is, it is time. I thought I was the magician, but maybe it's Justin. It's true. <laughs> I think so. No, it's magic person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the official. That's the official term. Uh, I'm gonna pay three, and I'm gonna play Rowan's Grim Search. I can bargain, and if I bargain, it's more beneficial for me. So I'm gonna bargain by sacking this enchantment here. What a bargain. Uh, I look at the top four cards of my library, and then I put up to two of them back on top of my library in any order, and the rest into my graveyard. And if I and then I draw two cards, and I lose two life. Oh, no. I didn't read that part. Uh, four. Oh. It's right. Life is a reason. <laughs> the lose two life. It is. Yeah. <laughs> and then these are the funny cards I wanted. No rats? Ah, rats. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> rats. Ah, rats. Um, okay, sorry, reading this again. Back on top. Okay. So, ooh. We laugh now, but there is possibility for rats. Um, those are two cards I would draw. Rats on rats on rats on rats. <laughs> uh, Ariet's Tempting Apple in the swamp. And I didn't realize I liked rats so much until I played this game. So you I got rats. Like rat deck. There, and there these are the two cards group. that I draw. Yep. Go two life loss. I will um, say that if I had pulled Lord Skitter as one of my legendaries, I don't care what I would have had to do, I would have played rats. I I would have also <laughs> played Lord Skitter in a heartbeat. Okay. Uh what I learned in boating school is um I'm gonna play other card hoping to get my rat back i might not though uh return triumphant mm -hmm. i'm gonna return creature card with mana value three or less from the graveyard to the battlefield and create a young hero role attached to it nice i'm gonna get Ooh, actually <coughs> okay i hope you all appreciate the great sacrifice i'm making but i'm actually gonna get where fox back <laughs> instead of all my right. cat um when it enters the battlefield, exile up to one target non-fox creature until it leaves the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, and it does no not kill it. Trigger either. Yeah, no grave pack trigger. Yeah, blessed be. <laughs> blessed be. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for your sacrifice. We appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. Fine, I'll like, be responsible or whatever. Um. I'm going to pay the sorcery part of the adventure here, and I'm going to attach a wicked, wicked sick token. That's wicked thingy. cool. Wicked sick token. <laughs> wicked Thanks. token there. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to pay three. If I'm at least entertaining, it's not to myself or something, whatever the saying is. Uh, I can't speak anywhere because I've been working all day and had too much coffee. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play this creature. On, uh, there it is. Two, three side. Okay. Um, I will say this game has been like an absolute pleasure. Yes, very <laughs> like really balanced. <laughs> There's a lot of back and forth. All right, dark, <laughs> dark Ulidge. Ooh, that's oh! a four. Hey! One, two, three, four. I got a seven. 
This is a good it's card, though. <laughs> well, Farsight Ritual, which has Bargain, and it might be bargaining that Dark Tutelage away. Very <laughs> real chance that. I'll draw my card for the turn. It's going to be an island that I will play. And the first thing that I'm going to do is play... I don't think... I just don't think the mana is going to work out for my commander this turn. I'm going to play Mocking Sprite. Mm -hmm. mm. So my instants and sorceries cost one less this turn. Or forever, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flying creature. That's fine. Hmm. That little, that little fox. That little fox, though. I was out fox. Just a little guy. Now you hit my fox. Just a little guy. <laughs> okay. I have nine mana. I mean, that's enough to do what I want to do, but it's not enough to do what I really want to do. So let's just uh, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to play a big, beefy Scream Puff, which is a 4-5 with Death Touch. I love that. No, creature, you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I make a food. Oh. And I will pass the turn after that. All right. Well, that foils my plans. Maybe. We have been bamboozled. Ooh, that does not foil my... Ooh, that foils my plans. Ooh, <laughs> oops. Yeah. Nah. Okay, well... I will play a mountain, and then I will think about my life choices, <laughs> and... <laughs> All right. Do you need to bonk someone for stuff to happen? No, I need Justin's stuff to not be on the board, but also not die. That is a that's a tough proposition. Yeah, you got there. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Ashley did find a way to make that happen, but that was I think that was a one time thing. All right. Well. Oh. Oh, okay. That's, She's back. That's 10 for my commander. Just Ooh, casual 10. Everybody casual take down. one. <laughs> one. That's the danger zone. <laughs> I have a card that costs six in my deck, so. God. I think I have to build this Ash Party Crash. All right. Can... Justin. So just great. boogie okay yeah. so we've got a you... two two with haste and a five uh, four with menace with menace yeah menace. you're gonna take some damage you say that <laughs> but i'm you're gonna be you're gonna be really disappointed it's oh, it's no. gonna be okay hate their spouts <laughs> all right uh so i will pay one blue because this costs one less and then i will do lagoon breach which is the adventure of horned lock whale uh the owner of target attacking creature i don't control puts it on the top or bottom of their library and i'm going to choose your big menace creature you know what i'm not even mad about that i would be a lot more mad if like you destroyed my stuff and like i didn't get to do anything this doesn't make me mad this is fine okay and then i'll block your commander with my scream puff yep and I uh, am never going to be able to afford her again, so I'm just going to let her go oh, to, no, to the trash. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me very sad. It's fine. All yep. Right. I like Scream Puff would be an easy cosplay. <laughs> I am... Uh, I've got a nice clean board state again. Thank you for clearing that up for me. You're uh, so welcome. <laughs> I did that just for you. Thanks. I'll pass. Oh, me. But you did take a damage, and that's what matters. I did. I'm at six. That is the yeah. danger zone, because I could yeah. hit uh, another six drop. Okay. And I'm... I'm... You could food. Terrified. Let's I know. See. I have the food, but I really... 
personal now. So tap five for Into the Fake Court. I the draw court. cards and I create a 1-1 one, one blue fairy with this creature can only block creatures of flying. Everyone okay. take one. Oh, God. Yes. Um, then I'll draw three cards. There we go. There we go. Um. Um. Okay. Interesting. So the curse roll token. Does that make? Okay. So that just affects base power. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's all it does. Sure. Just makes it tiny. Tiny baby. Let's tap one for a spiteful hex mage. Mm -hmm. When it enters, I have to give one of my creatures a curse roll. I'm going to give my fairy the curse roll so it just stays a 1-1. One, one. So instead of a 1-1, one, one, it's a 1-1. One, one. Yep. And okay. use a 3-2. Um... And not a fairy? Not a it's... fairy. Just a human it's still warlock. A... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. How big's your flyer? Just two a two one. Two one. AKA just big enough. Just <laughs> big enough. Uh, oh, buddy, 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 buddy. Um, yeah, that's the problem. If you kill one of his creatures, then you have to sacrifice one of your creatures. If you sacrifice one of your creatures, then you can't get through. And yeah. That's... Uh, and thus the like, and thus the deck. Yeah, thus the deck. <laughs> it's like Negan only in blue black. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess I'm gonna just. Oof. It's an infinite loop of sadness. I know. I'm so close to being dead. Yeah, you are, and I feel like your next upkeep might be it. Tbh. So yeah, I'm just gonna... hoping that if I can get my commander out in another wicked roll or something. Yeah, that could be it. Yeah. Because that would drain when they die. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. Does the the screen puff it has death touch? That's it. Yeah, four or five like, death touch. Oh, four, when it hits someone, I make a food. Don't give him oh, a yeah, food. Oh yeah, you have food. Yeah, Don't give him a food. I need that. I need that scream buff real bad. Did we take the one when your token fairy entered? Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. All there at this point. <laughs> I'm playing it safe. Go ahead, Ashley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Let's keep it back. Here. Keep it back. Oh, do I have ah. mana for this? Mm. My commanders died three times, so it costs seven, I think. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah. I know you got that. I know you got it. I'm just one mana shy, so actually forcing me to use that treasure token was really good. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's literally going to come down to one mana. Darn. Um, Wait, I know you have seven. Oh, to play to play also the other thing. Yeah. 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 So okay. I'm going to put in my commander. Okay. And I'm going to pay three and put in Spellbook Vendor. So it has Vigilance, mm -hmm. and at the beginning mm -hmm. of combat on my turn, I can pay one to put a Sorcerer roll onto... That's a big deal. Uh, another yeah. thingy. And mm -hmm. I think that would have helped a lot. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Um. I can't pay for anything. Don't want to attack with my buddy here and risk losing them. How big is that puff again? Four or five. Four or five. So with that touch. anything I throw would for sure ah. die. <laughs> And then this is just going to give you something back, so it doesn't make sense to attack. Okay, well, I can't attack. Do all the things. So I will move to end step. Right, I have effects before before end step. Mm -hmm. For three, 
because I have Mocking Sprite. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Taken by Nightmares, uh, which is going to exile target creature. And if I control an enchantment, uh, scry two. I'm going I... to... I have a response to that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. The stack battles. <laughs> Wizard I battle. Will... Magic person battle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, how much mana do you have open after that? Is Not that a none. Fresh right. out. We're going to spell... No! Yeah. yeah. You want to see what I was going to get? So you, now you don't like, have the food. You're like, no. Now you don't have the food and you don't have that spell. Well, yes. yeah. I mean, I have the food. Well, you can't pay for it right now. No, but with this trigger, with this ability on the stack, I'm going to, because I've That's got fair. to. Yeah. All right. So, so, oh, first, yeah, we're going to lose one. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty, that's yeah. important. That's important. Okay. Okay. I go to so four. <laughs> I go to four. I go to four. Okay. With upkeep, with the dark tutelage trigger on the stack, I am going to sacrifice this food and gain three life. Go to seven. Do you have any seven costs in your deck? No, I don't. I have a six, though. And survey says... Okay, it's a land. All right. All right. Oh, that doesn't feel that bad. All right. Draw a card. Play the land for the turn. Ooh, that's a pretty good one, actually. This is so Man, close. and this... I love and this. And this... Ta that was good, because the Taken by Nightmares was going to let me scry two, which was going to be really important for my... Uh, my Your dark upkeep, tutelage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The only person that I can hit to get a food is Beth. So I have to hit Beth for four. Don't hurt me. No more. Bonkany. All, right, All right. Take four and I will get a food, which I desperately, desperately, desperately need. Um, yeah. And then I will pay three and play uh, Voracious Vermin. And then I will also get a little Ratto. Mine's, mine's going to look like this, though. I don't, I don't have... I don't know where my marker is. Let me just throw this out my window and hope it gets you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I will... Yeah, pass the turn. I'll pass the turn. Okay. I could have taken out Beth, and mm. I just feel like it's right to not do it, and I'm probably going to pay for my sins of not doing it. <laughs> somehow. Well, if you have a rat token, that's all somehow. that matters. You won. Well. That's true. <laughs> all the game, all I need to do is survive till I got this little rat. We'll tap exactly. five <laughs> for our two-headed hunter and go ahead and impact from Mercy Table. Yep. Yep. Back to six. Um, Eight. I'll hold on to that and pass my turn. <coughs> okay. We will untap. We will draw. Okay. Um, we're going to pay two for a uh, Barrow Naughty. One, three flyer. Everybody take one. Oh, no. Um, rats. No, those are fairies. Yeah, yeah try those, fairies. Yeah, those are fairies. <laughs> Lots of tiny things. That's for sure. Um, flyer, left flyer. Not a fan of said flyer. Um. Okay, I will. Um, uh, I guess I could. Uh, yeah, is the flyer the only play. thing stopping you? Uh, for swinging at Justin? Yeah. Uh, pretty much. Cause I'd I'd at least swing with something. Okay, so I can handle. I can I can get rid of the flyer, but we would all have to sacrifice a creature for me to do it. Um, that wouldn't be too bad. I mean, I have my fairy. How do you feel, Ashley? I'm just worried about a counter spell. I'm trying to think where. I only have I only have one card in my hand, and it's Farsight Ritual, which I revealed a couple of turns ago. Oh, okay. This is this now. This does let me look at four or eight cards, mm -hmm. but it's the only card in my hand. 
Just so everyone knows. All right. Gotcha. Do it. Well, <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> Uh, I'll tap four and play Witch Stalker Frenzy, and it will do five damage to target creature. I'll pick your flyer, Justin. All right. Everyone sacrifices a creature. There goes my two-headed hunter. I'll sacrifice uh, my sacrifice scary. Witch. Okay. That was, a, that was a very noble... Very noble thing on your way. On your potentially your way out. Probably on Ashley's turn. I'm gonna oh, no, swing I'm pretty two low too. <laughs> in the air at Justin. Two in the air. Okay. Yep, yep. Uh, all right. Well, I will play my commander, which is the same as your commander. I have a response to that. Ooh. Okay. Um. Yeah. Tap three for uh, ice out. That is just a straight up regular old counter spell. Nice. Yep. Okay. Look at you playing I, blue, like blue players I should play blue. Yeah. Responses and myself. instants on instant times and stacks. Yeah. It's so amazing. All right, I go to, th I go to three then. All right, Ashley. I, I did my part. All right, go right ahead, Ashley. Oh boy, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all. <sighs> Okay, let me think about life and stuff. Um, okay, so if your commander dies, oh. I don't die, and that would be nice. So yeah. my voracious vermin, whenever another creature I control dies, this gets a plus one counter, so that got a counter. Yeah. Okay. You can't recast your commander because there's six now. And six mana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Could but he can. I can eat the food. I can. Yeah. I can have a little snacky. You can't stop me from having a little snack. Many have tried. Um, <laughs> if I sacrifice my commander, if it dies, I won't be able to recast it. Sounds good to me. Swampy poo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I'd be fine with that, but I don't know that Justin's <laughs> going to let me live for my crimes. No, I should have. I should have finished you off when I had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I knew better. That uh, turned to impact tremors. It has <laughs> done a It really has. It has it's done quite a lot of work. A lot of work. <laughs> I'm gonna move to combat and I'm gonna pay one to put a sorcerer roll on mm -hmm. my area. Yeah, commit. Right. Commit. Kill me. <laughs> I think I can possibly can you get another okay. sorcerer roll out? You could. You could get rid of that wicked roll and do another one to everybody. Well, the thing is, if I get rid of the wicked roll... Well, you've got another creature. Could you not put a sorcerer roll on the other creature? Is it as many creatures, or is it just one creature? Uh, I don't think you can target the source of creating rolls. It says to a, most of the time to another creature. Because this, mm. okay, this is at the beginning of combat on your turn. You may pay one you do create a sorcerer roll token i don't know if that means like i can just pay to keep like put one on this that's just a it, that's a one time so yeah. you can it would oh, say okay. any number of times if you okay. could do it any number of times yeah because i put it on my commander yeah that's fair i think that's probably the best yep you only have two blockers I only have one blocker, as you know. Oh, one. Oh, yeah. A red cannot block. All right, mine was just so swole. I figured it could block. Um, <laughs> what's the other rat that you have? Voracious vermin. Um, it is a. It's just a three-two. Okay. It's okay, Ashley. You can kill me on combat. I won't cry. <laughs> I tried to figure out. I, I, I think Ashley's gonna kill you no matter what. I don't. I can't. I can't even stop that. I think I'm going to swing with my commander and my werewolf fox buddy. Okay. And your commander's uh, three power and your werewolf's three power? Or your fox's three uh, power? Uh, yeah, three attack power. Sorry, mm -hmm. I should tell you how things work. Uh, <laughs> it's a three, three, and a th uh, three, five. And then, and then you scry one. And I'm putting that to the bottom. Okay. All right. And combato. 
I will go to blocks. Uh, I'm going to block my voracious vermin on your fox. Okay. Um, or damage. I'm going to sacrifice and eat this food. Gain three life. Uh, damage happen. Mm -hmm. All right. And we they, they both die. Act, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll lose three. One, two, three. And, and then we each are going to, yeah, everyone's, so your fox is going to die, right? It's a 3-3? Three, three? Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. or this is a 2-2, two, two, right? Or what, what, that was a 3, okay, never mind, sorry. It's a, yeah, it's a 3 with the, the wicked. Oh, okay. All right, so up. then we're each going to lose a life from the wicked, and then everyone else but me has to sacrifice a creature. I don't have a creature, so everyone yeah, else but both of us. Borrow naughty. I'm gonna go shop for secret layers. Okay, bye. <laughs> secret layer zone. All right. Um, since your your fox went away, my dream, my fairy dream feat is gonna come back, and I'm gonna surveil one. I think I'll get rid we of my vendor. Can't keep that one. Vendor. Oh wait, surveil. This is gonna go in my graveyard. Okay. Mm -hmm. Candy grapple. You're you're gone. Okay. And then in step, I at least got you down to one. It's land or bust. <laughs> it is literally, literally oh, land or sorry. bust. I think if it's a land, I can win. And if it's not, I lose. And there's not any in between. All right. This might be, this might be Dark Pax game. <laughs> yeah, dark tutelage. Greatness at any cost. <laughs> money, 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 money. Yeah, no All right. This is really fun. It'd be kind All of right. ironic if you lose to Dark Tutelage, causing you to lose to Dark Pact. Okay. <laughs> dark Bargain would be, because I have that in this deck too. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? We're ready. Yeah. Let's see it. Drumroll. No! no! <laughs> <laughs> it was a five. That's rough. Really funny. <laughs> and I'm and my turn is over. <laughs> I'm immediately dead. Welcome to okay. oh, the zone. Beseech the mirror. Secrets. That was the next one. Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, next I one. guess I would. Uh... Well, Dark Pack, it's immediately your turn. Yeah. <laughs> I would, what you uh... want to do? Not I attack mean... me, right? <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, yeah. I would just. I have know. no cards in here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> I did draw a very what a game. block whale, but what a nail blighter. Oh <laughs> what a game. Oh, my six was the next card down. Uh, my archive dragon. Wow. After that, you had some big ones tutelage. coming up. Yeah, I did have some big ones. Oof. Yeah, I didn't, have a, I didn't game, have a good game, guys. That was a great game. Couldn't have asked for better. <laughs> Couldn't have asked really? for better. Well, that was our game with our sealed box commander challenge. And I mean, honestly, what a game it was. I was this... This close to winning, all I need to do is reveal the basic land off the top of my deck at the very end. Didn't happen. But how can you be upset when all three players in the game that lost ended up uh, going to zero life within like 60 seconds in real time of each other? Just an excellent, excellent, excellent game. Loved it. If you have a chance to do this, if you all have a, if you know, if you have a group of friends and everyone gets a box of Wilds of Eldraine or really any set uh, playing a commander game after you build a deck out of the box you open just an absolute blast and if you enjoyed this type of content please be sure to like this video subscribe to this channel and share this video so that way we can continue to see more commander content coming down the pipeline thank you all so so much for watching i'm justin parnell we'll see you next time